So today I do have another DIY for you guys and it is that table back there. It is the dupe for the U-Bud console table from our house. They do sell something similar at Restoration Hardware, I believe, and other high-end stores, but I did see this at our house website. So of course I fell in love with that. I've been wanting it forever. So one of my brothers did have a couple beams left over from his project that he was doing at home. So he gave them to me and we built this table. So if you guys are interested to see how I built this table or how we build this table, keep watching. And so with that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, so these are the beams my brother gave me and here's my son measuring them because these were eight foot beams and I wanted a six foot console table. So my son is measuring it out so he could cut them for me. Everything feels so abstract. Yeah, it's complicated. What you say, the way you act. Well, it makes me so confused. I don't know what to do anymore. Can't you just make up your mind? My heart drops when you play around. How can you be up when I'm down? Don't My son had to use his, what is it, a circular saw to cut all around it because these were very thick beams. And then when he cut all around the beam, he did use a reciprocating saw, I believe it's called, to cut through the rest of the beam. My heart drops when you play around. How can you be up when I'm done? Don't want to think about it right now. So for the legs, he did cut them 28 inches high because we are going to set the other beam on top. And once we set the other beam on top, it is going to be 34 inches high. That's personal preference. You could build it as high as you want, as long as you want. These are the measurements I wanted. He did use his planer to um, try to smooth it and also his sander. His is a heavy duty sander. I will insert the exact tools down below that we did use but here he's just trying to get it as level as possible what you say the way you act well it makes me so confused i don't know what to do anymore can't you just make up your mind my heart drops when you play around how can you be up when i'm done don't want attach them with 12 inch screws and I will link the exact screws that we did use for these if you guys are interested in knowing so after we put it all together we distressed it we just beat the heck out of it just made all kinds of dents and whatever we could use we used any tool we had 
hammer, whatever we had, just to distress it. That was the fun part. But then came the sanding. It took a lot of sanding. My husband and I and my son, we all took turns sanding this table. I wanted to be where when you touch it, you would not get a splinter. So this is what it looked like when we finished distressing and sanding. My husband was just finishing the edges up there for me. But yeah, now we took it inside and we stained it. So guys, I did go over it with this. I did use just a pickled oak stain, but and then I didn't like it because it was too light. I liked the color, but it was just too light. So I did use the stain that I just shown you. And I just wanted it to have some kind of darkness in there and once i put that on and then i added the pickle oak i loved it so after i was happy with the color i let it dry for a couple hours and then i went over it with some polycrylic it is a matte polycrylic and i did do three coats and i did sand lightly in between coats and yeah that's all i did and i will show you how i styled it So this is how it turned out and I absolutely love it. I hope you guys love it as well. And I just want to give my son a shout out for helping me cut it and build it and my brother for giving it to me. So, and my husband for helping sand. Thank you all. I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to please give me a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys do like it. It really helped my channel. So see you guys next time. Bye.